Hey guys, Vern Danke. Today's video is about banking. I had a comment that I want to respond to about how to transfer money to yourself while you're living abroad. Now, I could start off with that video, but I think the most important thing is to start at the base, at the bottom. You need to start at your banking level. So how do we do that? Let's check it out. Every once in a while you'll hear a story of somebody that will say, I went to get into my bank account and I was locked out. Now I have no access to my funds. I'm living overseas. Now what do I do? Well, if you had planned that out before, there should be no reason that you have no access to any money. And so what I'm going to teach you is how I set up my account and I'm going to give you a tip that I've never heard said on the internet, which will help you to have a backup plan to that. The first thing you wanna do is go set up an American bank account and pick a bank that you feel that will be open for a long time because when you move overseas, you might be here for several years. You don't know. And you want that bank to be around for a long time. You want it to be a place that you trust, okay? So pick a bank that'll be around for a long time and I want you to open up two accounts, not one account, two. A savings account and your checking account. So here's what you wanna do. Any money that you receive, put into your savings. If you have a monthly check coming in, if somebody's gonna give you money, always put that into the savings account. Now, if you need money, you do a transfer online and you transfer any money that you need into the checking and you have it come out of there. Now, any money that you budget for that month, you put into the checking. And you have a debit card set up for checking only not for that savings account because you don't ever want anybody to steal your card and get that account closed okay you want that to be your isolated account that's only used for transfers okay now if you have a debit card and it gets lost or something happens that's only connected to that checking and the money that you put in there you know how much is in there how much you have to lose now what i do is i keep about a hundred dollars minimum in the checking account and that goes for just little miscellaneous things anytime I need to send money to myself I'll transfer that money into checking and I'll have that withdrawn within a day from my transfer station place that I choose to have that withdrawn so there's never much money in the checking so if a card or an issue happened you don't have much to lose and you're never fully locked out of your account for getting money because your bulk of your money is in your savings account so say your checking account got closed, okay? So now you need money. So you basically do a money transfer through something like Zoom or TransferWise and you're able to pick up money until you get that, that checking account thing figured out. Now, one thing that I would suggest if you ever are concerned or worried that you could have a problem with that bank or with those two accounts, then what I want you to do is open up another pair of accounts or at least at the very minimum one savings account at a totally different bank that's your backup plan and maybe that bank requires a minimum of a hundred dollars in the savings to keep it open without taking a monthly fee from it so do that put a minimum in there maybe you want to do half your money in one bank and half in another bank that way you're always guaranteed that you have a backup but my thinking is if you ever had an issue with that other account and maybe you're getting a monthly check per month okay and all of a sudden those accounts are closed you could have the check sent to your new account that you've never used as a backup plan now for that second account what I would do is I would get a debit visa set up for that account and never use it but before you leave the country make sure those ATM cards work in the ATM machines go ahead and get that process started while you're at the bank so if you put a minimum in that bank account, put a little more extra so you can test out your ATM card to make sure it works, maybe 20 bucks. Put 120 bucks into that backup account and just withdraw 20, say, okay, it works, put it back in or just keep it at the minimum balance. So that way you always have access to money, you always have access to a place to transfer. And the reason being, you come overseas and you have an issue and they say, oh, you need a U.S. bank account. Well, you can't set up a U.S. bank account while you're in a foreign country. There's no way. You have to sign for those things. You have to be present. 
You have to either have a fingerprint now, maybe a, a scan of your face. And you can't do that when you're here. They won't allow that. So if you do that before you come here, you're, you're all set up. There's no worries, there's no mistakes or errors. So everything starts at the banking level, okay? Make sure your banking level has a good foundation. Make sure that you trust the bank to be around for a long time. And then only put into this, the, the checking account what you plan to use for a very short time. And then empty it out and keep that mostly empty. And what I always do is if I feel like I have too much money in the checking, I'll put it back into the savings just in case. You just don't know. If somebody overcharges you or double charges you from your account, uh, there's not much they can take because you've monitored that checking account. You know how much you've put in there, okay? And so that's your best safety net if you go overseas to have control of your accounts like that in that way. Hey, 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 Vern.